This is the new Thrunite BSS V5 version. It's a tack light self defense EDC combination kit. I'm going to show you everything that's in it. Everything shown here is included in the kit. Let me go through and show you what each item is. What you're looking at is a Thunite BSS V5. The tactical EDC and self defense light. This is the version 5. We can go through and show you each item. Start off with the flashlight itself. The body 6061 aircraft aluminum. It's got this new anti-roll feature here. You set it down, it doesn't roll. It's rechargeable. It's got the knurling, just like all the other versions do. This one's got the new dovetail to protect it from being dropped or accidentally being activated in your pack or your pocket. The cycles are like all the rest. Fireply, low, medium, high, double click, triple click, strobe, double click, turbo, or straight to turbo. Now this one, if you turn on Firefly, hold it and then hold it again, it'll lock. Get your lock mode, see that, that red light? It's showing it's lock mode, it won't come on until you tap this and then hold the firefly. And it'll come on. So again, to lock it, hold it. Come turbo and firefly comes on, hold it again. Firefly goes off. Then you're in lock mode. It won't turn on accidentally in your pack or your pocket. Turn it back on, you hit that back button. Then you turn back on Firefly, and you're back in action. Double click, straight to turbo, or tail switch, straight to turbo, triple, turbo, I mean strobe. Now, a lot of places do not let you carry a pocket knife or a gun. You're going into an area you are a little leery about and want to protect yourself, your family. You can legally carry a flashlight. You can carry this, and you can take this and put this on your key ring or in your Levi watch pocket. Although, the key ring is a better idea. Going through a metal detector, it's going to pick this up. This is steel. 6061 aluminum, this is steel. So put this on your key ring. If they ask about it, just say, oh, it's a battle to protect my flashlight. Worst to worst, worst thing that's going to happen, they'll make you leave this behind. But uh, you put this on. You've got your self-defense. It's designed so you can have your thumb in between this. So at the same time, you're blinding them. So you're coming down. It's your flash and smash. You've got that protective bezel. It also comes with this. At night, you're backpacking. Something happens, you need to look at the map. You can look at the map with this. You go through all the cycles, the same. It's just to protect your night vision. Uh, white light will uh, temporarily change your eyesight, whereas the red one, if it does, not so much. You'll still be able to see really good. So you have the alternate bezels. You've got the two-way clip. You can clip to your pocket. Or you need to stop and look at the map, change a flat tire, or do anything else. You can hands-free, you can clip this to your hat. It clips this way or this way. It's your charging cord card. cord in here, USB. Comes with the battery and it comes with an extra o-ring in case you damage this o-ring. These are aluminum threads so you gotta be careful like all the rest. 
when you're threading it, go slow so you get it. It's drop proof a meter and a half. It's waterproof two meters. It comes with your lanyard, your Molly carrying case. carabiner or off your belt or pack. Now it also comes with this for a rail. You have a uh, scope sighting on your rifle or a rail on your gun. You can put this on. Let me show you. So you got the railing system up here or down here. This would clamp directly on that. Your light would go in here. simply change out these caps and you are now with a pressure pad comes with uh, two replaceable O-rings, comes with your Allen wrench, for your scope, for your scope mount. This is also 6061 aluminum, it's fairly light, well made. So it's really a three-in-one kit. You got your everyday carry, you got your weapon light, and you got your self-defense. You can leave this at home, carry just in your pocket while you're fishing or camping or even in the city. I'm gonna take it outside tonight when it gets dark and I will show you the different powers, but let me go through and read them to you now. So on strobe, it goes directly to 1200 lumens, firefly, 0.3 lumens, low, 29 lumens, medium, 355 lumens, high, 1413 lumens, turbo, 2676 lumens. As I said, uh, impact resistance, 1.5 meters, waterproof. 2 meters, intensity 16,200 CD max, distance 255, me 255 meters max, 255 meters out of that little flashlight. So this is the fifth version of this light and every time they've come up with some kind of uh, improvements, this time it was the anti-roll few more lumens in each uh, setting and the dovetail as well as the two o-rings extra o-rings it comes with an extra clip in case you damage it or lose it that'd be the clip right here covering the USB charging port two of these comes with an extra it comes with two extra of the o-rings keep these in the ziploc bag these uh, come lubricated they should remain lubricated using some kind of silicone rubber lubrication something that won't damage them or let them dry out ok I'm walking through some old old trails ancient trails from the way back before the cities were built. You start to go through the old oil fields. This with the red light. Nobody can really see me. I'm not supposed to be up here. They're closed up dark.
just enough light though that I can make out where I'm going without drawing a bunch of attention. This is the light with that red lens. Low? Medium? Low? It's high? There's turbo. So on medium, it's more than enough for you to navigate. Low is enough for you to closely look at some maps. And it's not interfering with my my eyes night vision at all. I can look at that list, look around, I can see clearly if anything's coming. There's a lot of coyotes up here. But uh, there's a trail there on the other side of that fence that cuts right over through the main part of Fullerton and it'll come down into uh, an oil field that used to be a little, there's a little bit left of it next to Euclid Street coming down next to Imperial Highway in Orange County. People mountain bike on this trail that I'm on. Now without the red cap, there's your Firefly. your high, there's your medium, there's your high, there's your turbo. You would definitely need light for getting through all these cactus. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect heart right there. Heart to heart. Remember that TV series? Heart to heart. One of the last oil rigs. Very few of them still pumping these days. But this field does have some that are still pumping. This field used to go all the way from La Harbor Heights all the way down Beach Boulevard to Rosecrans. It's all gone now. It's all houses. But what's left, there's still this trails through there. All right, you can the owl. You go right through the middle of these fields. Not suggested to do it at night though. But you go down here. So if someone cut the fence, you can get in. You can cut directly over and go straight to Imperial Highway. High, turbo, strobe. So there'll be a link in the details to this light.